Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mac AC Tutorials here, and I'll be showing you C++ video on how to make text. No, 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 sorry about that. How to make a number into text in a console application C++. Let's get started. First thing first, make a new project. It's gonna be an empty project. You can name the project. Uh, I'll just name it a uh, num to text, I guess, so you know. Well, like what the project is doesn't really matter uh blah blah, blah. no nah. sign else i was working on okay now they were here it's an empty project so of course we gotta go to our source files and add a file and a uh, new item gonna add a c++ file we're gonna name it main.cpp and add the file first things first we want to start it so you gotta do you gotta do include ios stream and you go to the next line then we're gonna do using uh namespace std and you're gonna end it I like to make my stuff neat, my coding, so a space between it. And then we'll do in main and then put the brackets of course and finish it off. Let's finish our setup, return zero and our setup is done. Basic basic setup is done. Now what we have to do is um is uh make our integers that we're gonna be using. And first things first, we're gonna be using a uh a number. That's gonna be our input, so we're gonna name that number num. Next uh sorry about that. Next we're gonna be using a, a left digit and our right digit so left we're going to put left uh, should we name it left digit it doesn't really matter Sh sure and uh, if I spell anything wrong it's because I'm typing fast okay after that's done we're going to set up what we want to display in our application and to do that we'll do console output and and that we gotta do uh what we wanted to say and uh say enter a number from one to ninety nine I guess Then you're gonna build console input. Put the brackets to the other side. And uh put what you what, what's gonna hold that. And what's gonna hold that is that integer we made. The integer we made is called num. So that holds it. Now we have that in place. So now what right? So what we have to do now is an if and else statement. First statement if num let's say is a uh, hmm. if num is greater than or if num is equal if num is equal or less than or equal to zero in brackets We're going to put console. Oh, we want to display uh, that your number is negative. So, like, basically, let the program end. The number you have entered is negative. 
so now what right so we'll, oh so next thing is uh an else statement but before that what we have to do let's do it before before we do the console output we do an, an array using char so we want to do char actually I think we do it with string we can include string so string let me see include let me see if I can include string I actually can include string so let's do a string uh, let's do once and all our ones are going to be in here so let's start with uh, hmm oh we need to count zero of course so we need a, a zero then we need one and you're going to keep on going until you hit basically in, until you hit your uh, your 19 I'm going to pause the video and when I'm done okay, I'll uh, start it again alright now that I'm done you can see you're like okay why do I have an error I got confused with Java a little Java you got to put when you do a string it has to be capital so it has to be regular s that makes it a string now why do you still have an error because I forgot to add an equal sign and our our uh, array is good now those are not the only numbers we're using we're going to be using tens place too so we're going to make another array string tens and uh, brackets equals and I'm pause the video and from here just do 20 to 19 I mean 20 to uh, 90 and uh, I'll get back to you when uh, I'm done all right our tense array is done as you can see now we can go back to our, our statement and it's not gonna be else because no it's not because we need to separate the ones and the tens so it's gonna be else if so we're gonna do else if num aka the number th that we're importing I'll just I'm gonna be calling it num it's less or equal to 10 and this is the and symbol in C++ and other languages too num is greater than 0 aka the number is positive and if the number is equal to 10 or 9 so basically the ones and why am I separating it? I'm separating it to make it sort of neater. You don't have to, you can skip this step. And from here, you put a bracket. And this is what we're going to do from here. We're going to do a count output. Count. And we're going to put a, a number you have entered is this is where it gets a little difficult you're going to do the brackets again same side and then you're going to do once where you named our array remember once brackets and you're going to put num brackets and we're going to end it with that and you're probably confused, okay, why did you do that? Okay, well, the reason why is because, say we num we enter the number, uh, we enter number five. The reason why I put it there is because it's telling us, okay, go to the array and get number five. So this is, it, it, the, the program doesn't start at zero. I mean, it doesn't start at one, it starts at zero always. So it's zero. One, two, three, four, five, and it will display 
this parameter in here. That's why you gotta put it in the middle. Hope you understood that. If you didn't, just sort of keep watching the video and you'll, you'll understand when I explain a little bit more. Now we're gonna do the other numbers. It's gonna be else, else if num is greater than or equal to 11 and num is less than or equal to 19 so now it's the tens place so 11 to 19 parentheses I mean brackets sorry about that and we'll do the same thing because I didn't separate it I did before took it off it's too long of a code I didn't want to have that so I kept them together count equals you basically do the same thing you did on top I actually don't have to write this copy this exact same code but on this one right here it's not so you're gonna do else if else I think we'll do else if else if number if the number is greater than 20 or my bad is number is equal or greater to 20 and the number is less than or equal to 99 So it's covering every single number from 20 to 99. And this is how we do it. This is where we bring the right digit and the left digit. Little math involved in this. So what we have to do is to right digit equals, okay, listen. So it'll be number percent of 10 will get you the right digit I'll explain it a little bit more later it's because it gets why the reason why it gets it the uh, the 10 I mean the, the second digit the right digit it's because it gets 10 percent of a hundred is it's two digits you sort of get me if it was a hundred it will get you the, thir the third digit. I hope you understood that. If not, you could try it in a calculator. Sort of get what I'm saying. So when I was doing the left digit. Equals a number. People will say, okay, I have one. No, that will that just get you the same answer. So I'm going to do divide by 10. That will get you the first digit. So from here, what you have to do is console output the number you have entered is, and from here you got to put tens left digit first, right? left uh oh sorry about that left digit and then minus two the reason i say minus two is because let's say you do five divided by ten it's two more of of the regular number so that's why so after this you gotta do the ones place that's ones and just put once because the, the ones is normal it's nothing wrong with it oh i mean uh, and put a num <coughs> the numbers are going to be together and that's not what you want so from here you can put a a line to separate it separate the numbers and uh, you're basically done for some reason you have to pop
pulse the screen anytime you do a contour uh, application you have to include a C T D I think it's called or C T D right here this one is C S T D lib and then right under the I mean right on top of return zero you gotta put system pulse system pulse and then you're done your application is done save it I'm gonna debug it test everything out along with this video 15 minutes alright try to test it in a couple seconds right now and say we enter a uh, negative 2 let's see everything works and uh, we'll test the uh, other number real quick 25 24 and uh, there you go well the reason I got 20 there is because I did a mistake it's not num here it's it's a uh, right digit the common mistake got confused from what I had to what I put on top so from here it's a uh, right digit ones is the right digit we could test it again debug looking at everything everything looks good should work and this is 24 again number 24 there you have it guys that's how you do it sorry for this video being so long please like this video comment if any questions ask and uh don't forget to subscribe i just made this new channel trying to help you guys and uh have a nice day i hope you learned